there are people listening right now that have had unresolved gut issues. They can they cannot figure it out, and they're like, um, they, they go down the food sensitivity route. They go down the food allergy route. They go down the uh, gut microbacteria route. They do every stool test known to mankind, and everything seems to be normal. Um, and they think they have a food allergy or food sensitivity. And, and when I sit with them for just a few minutes, you can very quickly realize that they actually don't have an allergy, right? I say, well, what are you allergic to? Well, I'm allergic to um, gluten or I'm allergic to wheat. Okay, is there ever a time that you can eat wheat or corn and not have a reaction? Yeah, you know, sometimes I can eat corn and I don't blow up like a tick. Okay, then you're not allergic to corn, mm-hmm. okay? Because allergies are not transient. Allergies are consistent. The reason why you can eat the same thing on Monday and not have a reaction, and eat the exact same thing on Wednesday, and blow up like a tick, or be constipated as hell, or have gas, or cramping, or bloating, or even diarrhea. The reason why you can have two completely different reactions to the same food is because it's not the food that's causing the reaction. It is the deficiency in something called methylfolate. The the folate that we eat has to be converted to methylfolate in order for the body to process it. If you can't make this conversion, you have a deficiency. Mm. 44% of the population has this genetic mutation. They have this deficiency. If you don't supplement with methylfolate, you will never restore your gut.